Welcome to the Twisted Beanstalk. <laughs> okay, I started early because I'm gonna just prep some things here, some, some color. Some pink color. So we are just starting with pink right away. So I'm going live, I know, surprise, surprise. Um, and also actually just made another video to uh, that's uploading. Cause I'm gonna be getting a lot of work done and I just wanna like hang out, you know? Hey Crystal, how are you? How are you in this crazy world? Things getting back to normal? They are, they're actually opening up the border April 1st. So I'm pretty excited about that. So this is a hand, <laughs> high five. She is the, uh, what's her name? I have to look at her name again. Um, Let's see, what is her name? What is your name? What is it? What is it? Why do I only have, hmm. let me see. Of course it's like, oh here, Sandy, the Sandy kit. It's a standing toddler, which I love the standing toddlers. So I'm actually just gonna, I was just putting some pink on it. The vinyl is like slightly yellow, I don't know. Oh, E.G. <sighs> yeah, so I made another video. Hello, hello. A painting video that's like uploading. I feel like I'm getting it back into the swing of things here. Hopefully. Anyway, I say that now. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, man. How you doing for Rose? I bet you're like friggin' feeling the stress too. <laughs> I always get so stressed out. Like, but like in a good way, like I really love, I really love the like anticipation of it, but like I hate it too. You know what I mean? Like I hate it, but I love it. It's like, yeah, hi, oh, I love you. You're my friend. No, 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 no. Stay away. Just kidding. You're my friend, you know? <laughs> That's how I am in life every day. So anyway, uh... I'm gonna just add a little bit of mottling, some pink mottling on this baby. She is getting uh, rooted with Maverick's hair, so I have to finish the painting pretty quick, pretty quickly. <gasps> and I really like this pink that I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, it gets so stressful. And then I start thinking to myself, hello to Missouri. Then I start thinking to myself, like, you know, what if I put in all this work and then like, you know, it doesn't go, it doesn't go as planned. You know, yeah, it's like that. But I am definitely excited to get life back on track. your video is your inspiration love you to the face and you're so sweet oh thank you oh boy my ego needed to hear that right now <laughs> you have a little ego stroke every now and then right when you're an artist so because i'm doing a toddler i don't do as much mottling like i feel like i just i'm like the veining, I generally, I don't really do that on my newborn, newborn babies, because if you look at them, they're more like purple and, and pink, but they don't really have the, you can't really see the veins. 
that much, but when it's a toddler, definitely is more prominent. Prominent? Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. If it's not, oh well, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm doing a little, some veins here. Sometimes I think toddlers are easier. <laughs> hey Annie, how are you? Yeah, sometimes I think that toddlers are, are easier to paint. I'm do, yeah, she's gonna be actually a normal, like she, actually she's gonna be a steampunk toddler, but yeah. Oh, I love the jingles you made, Jill, from Liverpool, like jingles. <laughs> from liver where is liver liverpool i forget uh <laughs> wait is that in like europe or is it in canada can't possibly be you would think i would know that if if it were in canada but then again there's a lot of stuff i don't know i just try to i just try to sound like i know what i'm talking about but i clearly know nothing about life <laughs> Anywho, yes, this is going to be a normal toddler, a non-monster toddler. Uh, it's going to be a steampunk theme. It's going to have Maverick's head full of Maverick's hair. I have so much of that hair, it's ridiculous. That child, he's all hair. It's just all hair. Yeah, like Cousin It, you know? <laughs> Uh, and Maverick's going to the show. <laughs> Pretty excited about that. Then, cause then he's gonna be able to like walk around and get footage for me too. It's just way too hard for me to do that. I hope that a lot of people plan on going there too. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think like, people are excited about it. I mean, I feel like there there's shows that have happened in Europe recently that um, people were going and they were like taking video and stuff. And so they seem like pretty excited. So I can't see why. Well, like that one and the Kansas show, I think the, Can the Kansas show is, is like getting bigger as well. Um, it's a little bit far for me to go like I would have liked to go this year, but I just don't know if I can commit to Another whole show I used to I used to do multiple shows But all the California shows got have gotten canceled obviously things have just been different since since COVID so it's like before I had all the energy for it, but then like COVID happened and I lost a huge amount of my, <laughs> a huge amount of my friggin' energy. I'm just like, oh. Bleh, bleh. So like my point is, is I might go there and then die from standing that long when clearly I don't have to do anything. <laughs> England. Okay. I thought, I thought so. Okay. Um, but there are people are worried. Yeah, there's, I know people are excited, but they're worried. And like, I mean, I feel like that's just our world. I worry every single day when I send my kids to school. So that's very sad. We don't have any masks. We're in, I'm in Washington and all the mask mandates are, are gone. So Progress. Progress. I was thinking about taking that silicone painting course at Rose. I have taken, I've taken one with Susan before and she's like, she's such a good teacher as well. But then it's like, mm, should I or shouldn't I? You get like an actual silicone baby to work on. I think it's like 11 inches or something. Oh, your feet are so cute. They're so pretty. <coughs> They're so pretty. They made me just choke. Choke on the pink. That's how pretty you are. Couldn't contain myself. All 
righty. Yeah, sometimes I think these toddlers are easier. Just less detail. I mean, there's still detail, but they're they don't take as many layers as like a newborn, a newborn uh, reborn. Cause the those ones take I don't know they just take a lot more layers of color to get them like super realistic. And the toddlers are not not so much. And also, you can hold it as a bazooka. So. <laughs> right? I mean, hey, everybody wants to shoot a bazooka during the day. Wee! I love this chair. Okay. I was just checking out the pink on her skin tone. I'll do like a little bit of mottling, but not, not a lot. So I'm gonna make her pink. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna make her pink, you guys. I'm just gonna paint her all pink. I'm gonna do the the pink feet, but then I'm gonna do some veining, and then I think I'm gonna like go back and then do some other. Hello, Thomas, eighteen Lupin, Lupin's eighteen. Let's see here. I'm gonna put her on a doll stand. <laughs> I have all these kits to paint. I'm like, oh, Bean, come on now. Why, why do you do this to myself? Why do you do this to myself? <laughs> Don't mind me, I just have a couple people li living inside my body. <laughs> Ooh, man, okay, so for the people that know that I have a horse, Bougie, um, I actually have two horses, but I moved Dream because he's retired now, so he's just out in pasture with other horses. Um, and Bougie has a sister and technically a brother, but he's he's still a stud colt because he's like not even one. But um, anyway, so they have a filly and I'm like, ooh, I wanna buy it. I wanna buy it so bad, but I'm like, again, I have the, the angel on my shoulder, like the good angel and the bad angel. It's like, do I really need another horse, especially one that's a year old? Mm, probably not because I don't have my own property. However, I also love that it's not on my own property because then I can go away and my horses are totally taken care of and it's like, it's worth it just to board them. I have three kits to root and painting a few more waiting on hair to get here. Yeah, it's crazy, right? So I just overdo it every year. I overthink and I overdo it. I just wanna bring some like a few really nice pieces and then just like have that and then smaller, smaller stuff. And also real borns, like I have some, those don't take, they are really, real borns are pretty easy to paint. Like they're, because they're, it's just different vinyl. Like it, they're just easier to paint, I find. Like you don't have to do as many layers, but the problem is, is if you don't do as many layers, it goes shiny. Like I feel like that vinyl goes shiny a lot easier. So I don't know. And I have so many, I have so many of them because like they, I, first of all, have a sickness. I'm addicted to buying doll kits and they were having, excuse me, Bountiful Baby was having all these like crazy sales. And not only that, they also introduced shop pay, <laughs> which is like Klarna or like after pay. And so they could have a good sale on and then I could literally buy like 10 of them and just make payments and so now I have like 50 doll kits probably don't have that yeah you probably do be you probably have over 50 it's crazy anyways I was just adding a little bit of pink to the knees it's not a huge difference but I'm just uh, adding you know 
You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, yeah, that afterpay and all those, it's like, no, please. Please, no. <laughs> please, yes, but please, no. But my point is, is that the real borns, I have a lot of them and because they're not they're not sculpted. They're made, they're made from a, a scan, like a computer, right? So it's just the, the amount that you get for them, depending on like what, I guess, what artist you are or whatever. Uh, forgot where I was going with that. Oh yeah. You just don't get as much because they're not as the ones that are sculpted from actual sculptors and that are like limited editions and like, are literally right from the dealers and right from those sculptors they hold the the um their value because they're you know eventually you're not going to be able to get them ever so when they're yeah when they're sculpted they're just more valuable um you know for for uh people who collect um so the real borns, you can sell them for less, which is good because then, of course, you're, more people can afford them. And uh, yeah, so you're kind of like going in a couple different price brackets, which helps. Hey, hey! How goes there? I was just... Um, I was saying a little while ago that the Canadian border is finally opening up on April 1st. Woo! Yeah, boy. And it's because they they have like some crazy amount of, I think it's like almost 90% of people are vaccinated. So that's awesome because now I can see my family. I mean, I could go up before even hearing my voice. <laughs> I guess I just do that to some people. Um, I, I was able to go up to Canada before, but I'd have to like do a friggin' stupid COVID test and then go through the border and like, uh, it's just really stressful. It was like super, super stressful. But now you don't have to have a COVID test. You still have to be vaccinated, but you don't have to have the test and then you'd still do like the Canadian app where you put in like your vaccination record and like passport and yep so be going up soon and I just may never come back to the United States <laughs> just kidding sort of I'm sort of kidding <laughs> <laughs> oh man I really like this kit though it's cute she's got a cute face I just have to try on the eyeballs she's gonna be ha I'm pretty sure she's gonna have green eyes I just added you to my new Instagram my other account got hacked at 1000 oh those bastards I don't know how anybody does that I'm making a biracial Maddie. I actually made a painting video and I was, I'm like uploading it, like literally as we speak. Um, but she is like, she's so cute. She's so chubby and cute. And I love her hands and her feet. And Bonnie always like does amazing feet and hands. And um, yeah, I was saying, I was like super excited to make a Maddie. I really wanted to make her. She was expensive though. I have to say, these kits, everything is getting so expensive. There we go, a little, little pink on your knee. Yeah, there you go, rock on. There you go, leg bazooka, there you go. Okay, here's the face. So cute. Oh, you're so cute. And then I also have been working on this one. <laughs> Look at those eyes. It took me a little while to get those eyes in there. 
have to glue them. She's so cute. I like, I can't, I feel like, man, if I would see her at Rose, I probably would buy her. Okay, sorry for sticking it in my armpit, but sometimes I just gotta do that. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta just go in my armpit. Okay. Let me see. Face always takes a little bit longer. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's so weird though. I am not bringing any fantasy dolls. Like I'm bringing fantasy dolls that I'm making, you know, but like the fantasy kits, I'm not bringing any. <laughs> How weird am I for not doing that, right? Um, the doll show is the end of June, I think June 21st to, mm, it's like Thursday and Friday, 21st to 24th, I think. I always forget, like as soon as I, if it's not in front of me, I just can't remember. And I mess up appointments all the time. Now I have my calendar book like open constantly on my kitchen counter because I, I actually have like a quite a bit of appointments for one of the kids that I have and I always mess up on the time so I just have to have it open all the time because I constantly forget. Oh, look at you. Okay, let me give you some pink cheeks. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like the I feel like the base color is okay. Don't mind my snoring dog in the background. <laughs> They're like both totally look. <laughs> They're just spooning as usual. <laughs> in together as usual. A little bit of pink. One thing about the that hair, uh, Maverick's hair that I root, it's actually pretty easy to root. And especially because I got that new rooting tool from McPherson's, it's like freaking awesome. My hand barely gets tired. And I kind of, I just kind of wish I was like Harry Potter and I could just be like, blah, and then make the needle just root, right? Put a spell on it and it's just like, chick, 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 chick. that'd make my life a lot easier. I don't know how people micro root though, you know, like the, the regular mohair. I don't know how they do that. I just do not. I just do not. I just do not. Do freaking not. It's okay, we're gonna put on some veins. And some little, maybe some blue around the nose. doing Twyla. Did you guys know that my dog lost her eyeball? Rooting is my least favorite thing to do. <sighs> I know some people are just so good at it. They're just like how? Oh my stomach. Okay, let me put on a few.
Twyla. Her stomach's like. <laughs> Alrighty, let me just pounce on this. I need to try the air dry. Um, I've tr I have tried it, but I'm just so used to using Genesis that you know if it's not broke, don't fix it. There's some people that use air dries and air dry, and their babies are like freaking beautiful. I think it just depends on the person, and the artist, and what you're comfortable with. can't really like why can't you not really see it what is going on okay well anyways ah. it's subtle it looks more subtle on the phone I said that like I was very unsure of what I was saying it's very subtle on the phone <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> I really you know what I wonder I really I'm curious to know if there's gonna be a shit ton of uh, silicone dolls this time again like I feel like when I first started going to shows there's like barely any there was like they were so so limited and of course over time they got more and more and more popular and like now they're making silicone dolls out of reborn kits so it's really it's really grown but the, I, I feel like <laughs> there's also so many, like there's so many, so freaking many, man. I like every show. It's like, and I'm not, and I'm not sure why. Cause I mean, they're, they're neat, but I don't know. I'm not, <sighs> man, I have like a Joni kit here. That's like brand new. That's been stowed away. I should bring that kit to Rose and just sell the, I have all the supplies, but I just haven't really pulled the trigger cause I don't know. It's just, I can paint it, but I just feel like, like fantasy dolls are so fun for me to do. If I have time, I may have a couple cuddle silicone bees. Yeah, the Joni kit is a full body silicone. So, and I did take the course with Susan, but it's just, I think that if you like commit a whole entire um, week or like two weeks, you know, where you're working like six hours or like maybe, yeah, like four, no, probably like four or five hours in a day, just like commit those like week to two weeks with no interruptions, then it's doable. But like in my household, that is not doable. Like I get interrupted all the time because as you guys know, I have multiple kids. Um, plus I foster, so it's like, I can't, it was really, it was even really hard to take the class with her because and like luckily it was over Facebook and you have a certain amount of time. Um, so you didn't have to like, you didn't have to be there for sure, like watching it live because um, she did put it like on Facebook in the group, which was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I couldn't even, cause you have to, you like, you have to be quick because everything cures, right? And then you have to make sure that there's like no dust flying around. You have to be like really clean and then make sure that you have time to at least finish that layer. So it's def it's hard when you have multiple interruptions. Like it just can't be done. It was like way too hard for me, which sucks. 
Yeah, you get it. I know. I know you understand, little dolly. Just adding some uh, color to her lips here. Yeah, so that's why I was thinking about taking the class at Rose, the the silicone class, because there's there'll be no more in, there'll be no interruptions for me. You know, I can actually like do it hands on and get it done, and a lot of the time that's how I learn. Like I have to see it. Yeah, I heard the, the Kansas show is pretty awesome. Um, I wish I could go, but I just can't. Like I said, I just can't commit to it. But, um, and I heard that it is smaller. Although I think that the Rose show is gonna be small too, right? Because it's like only a certain amount of people can go. Um, and yeah, I think it is going to be like smaller. Is he smaller? Hey, hey, hey phone. How rude. I hope they don't leave a message because you guys are all going to hear it. <laughs> That's weird. It just stopped ringing. <laughs> probably a good thing because who knows what they would have said better not be a freaking kid that needs to be picked up from school god story of my life every day oh, i did canvas last year and i will do it again this year i think i just added a little bit of pink to the to the face um, what area are you in? I forget. They might even be full. Even if I wanted to do that show, they probably, I don't know if they'd have room for me. And I think that's when, that one is in September. Hmm. And then I'm going away for in October. Just kidding. I'm going away in November. Nevada. I don't even have a table, but hope to go. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I could just go and not have to worry about like, because let's see. So the Rose Show is end of June, July, August, September. Um, I mean, I guess. Essentially, you could probably just, if the dolls didn't sell, sell at Rose, then they can be brought to the other, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, oh, they're on a, oh, they're a waiting, wait, what? A waiting list? So you have to like apply or something? Oh, or is that for the Kansas show you're talking about? Because I know that Rose is somewhat the same way. I just added like a tiny bit of blushing to her and the veins and then I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna bake it just to set those veins and then I'll come back and um, let's see if she said uh, they're oh mm, oh they're sold out that's the Kansas show right that you're talking about hmm yeah I don't know I mean, I could ask, I guess, but just the prices are like freaking, blah, blah, blah. you know, you know what I'm saying? When they're like, blah, 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 blah. yep, that's how everything is for me today. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway. Uh. so cute look at twyla yes and roses too i tried to get another table <laughs> oh do you have one table i have a booth and it's like literally right when you walk in like you're gonna 
you're gonna see my boot. I'm a little nervous. That makes me a little nervous. It's okay, Bean. It's okay. Oh, ooh. don't you just love when you like do a big stretch? You're just like, ah, oh, yeah. I wonder why. I need to Google that. Like why it feels so good to stretch. <laughs> And everybody does it. Everything does it. Even like, like the dogs, they stretch all the time. And Baker, when he gets up in the morning, he stretches he's, and he's like, oh, like every morning, every single morning he does, <laughs> he does that. That's uh, funny. Anyway, um, I'm going to go because I'm going to bake this baby. Um, I'm going to work on, I'm hoping to get work on Maddie a little bit more, do her eyebrows and her hair. And like, I don't wanna like bombard YouTube with videos all of a sudden. It's like, it's like it's gone all this time and then all of a sudden it's like upload, upload, upload. So, I mean, I guess I could make it and hold it and then like upload it. I guess I could probably do that. Mm, yeah, okay. Glad we cleared that up. Uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.